Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel now. Finally, finally, War 12, final war of season 33 is here. A new nation matched up GT40. GT40 obviously has won like three war seasons in a row and uh, they already have secured first place this season as well. So they're going for four in a row, which is absolutely impressive. And... Uh, that also probably is the reason why new nation is currently leading against them and one of the reasons why i can upload this video early now obviously i have done all of my fights and it is quite clear that we are going to win this war because gd40 has basically nothing to play for as long as they clear their map they're gonna win the season and that's exactly how they're playing uh, so uh that being said, I do have a few fights here, mainly with CJ, well, only with CGR and Nimrod. I think it's two fights for each of those champions. So I'm uh, going to be on path two in section one, and then I'm going to be on path five in section two. So uh, here we are. Um, the first fight, Wolverine Weapon X against Nimrod. Now, this node does have power struggle, which can kind of mess around with you a little bit. I did apply my, you know, medium set of boosts and indestructible three here. So I'm going to start with a heavy attack. And then the base idea is I just want uh, to get him past the bar of power at a time when I can use my own special attack. As soon as I do, all of his regions basically get nullified. Now he uses a special attack. He's going to go unstoppable and unblockable. So I need to be aware of that. And now I can just start laying in the guy. I don't have too much to worry about here because as soon as he gains regeneration and gets converted into shock, and he's going to be dead. Now, I did make a small mistake there, but Indestructible 3 boost kind of saved me. And then, because of power struggle, I basically got 2 bars of power very, very quickly. And that finished it off. So, only damage I took in this fight really was the recoil damage. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Now, I'm going to go up against Killmonger. And as all of you know, CGR is a perfect Killmonger counter in most of the fights because he does have that permanent armor break on him, means no reverb damage, he doesn't gain power when I place debuffs on him, and it's a very, very straightforward fight. So here I finish combo with light, then finish combo with medium, have my fate seal active, go for level 2. I actually forgot to activate cosmic power boost, but it doesn't matter here because at this point I'm hitting like... 16k med light crits, 25k medium crits, and the fight is over. And again, one very, very nice fight. Now I realize that I'm going to need those power, that power boost for the next fight, which actually is going to be a bit dodgy, a bit scary because of the Sadist node. And uh, Cosm Ghost Rider does obviously place quite a lot of debuffs, so that Terex is going to get a lot of extra attack, so I do need to be aware of that. And uh, obviously... We also have ebb and flow intercept on this node, but I'm just going to ignore the ebb and flow intercept. I'm going to have faith in my baby, uh, I mean CGR, and that's going to be it. I'm not even going to try an intercept here. I am just going to get to my level 2, drop the level 2, and see how much power I'm going to be getting back. So here we can see that initially I gain very, very little back, but then those crits come in and I'm at like, I got like 1.3 bars of power. And here I do need to be careful of his uh, power bar and I'm going to push him in the red, but I got myself into red as well. So CGR did so much damage that I literally did not care about getting rid of that ebb and flow node. And that made the fight a lot, lot, lot easier. And now the last fight of the season for me, I had a very brief war. Uh, last fight for me here against Kitty Pride. Obviously, it's Nimrod, and I think I'm going to make a small mistake somewhere along the line. Oh, I'm, I'm going to activate my level 1 a bit too early. Now, I did get Ebb and Flow Intercept there, but I didn't have my 10 charges active by the time I threw my level 1. But luckily, I did still get both of my effects, so that worked out fine. Now, I just need to make sure that, uh, you know, I don't get absolutely kicked in the face, but I do have that big Energize. She does have that Energy Vulnerability there. I'm going to go for level 2 even with that uh, ebb and flow again still active again and it's 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 just an absolute nuke fest. This entire war clip uh, fit into about 4 minutes and something. I think I had like 2 minutes of actual fight time if that. And uh, yeah, Kitty Pride is uh, dead. At the moment the score in the war is I believe 7 to 1, but again I do understand that that is not GT40's regular performance. 
we are set to win this war but uh congratulations to gt40 for winning the season i guess is all i have to say and uh you can definitely understand them wanting to save some of the bigger boosts or resources there so uh all that being said it does look like new nation is going to finish in the third spot as well because it, we were already in third place and basically if we do not lose this war that's where we remain so uh hopefully new nation gets the top three finish which is awesome which is some extra rank four materials exactly what's needed and tomorrow tomorrow everybody's going to be getting those alliance war rewards so we're going to see how that is going to go down now here though uh stats of loyalty for this war again this is i think this is the cheapest war i have had this entire season because I didn't have to use a single potion. I had four fights only. And I used uh, one 200% power boost and one in wool boost, which is like 17,000 loyalty, which is sweet, which actually let me uh, finish entire Alliance for Season under my 1 million kind of like loyalty goal. As far as the fights go, uh, now we have Nimrod. I'm actually quite interested. Nimrod took two fights and I had CGR with two more and then we have wags with zero fights and uh, in total i still think archangel is the most i actually will add this up and maybe cover it briefly in a separate video but uh, in total for me this season by the looks of it archangel was the most used champion and uh, then second one is probably nimrod and third is cgr which is you know fairly interesting i did not expect that at the beginning of the season but here we are uh Finishing up finally the alliance for season means liquid courage double edge can come back on and arena grinding is going to be so much easier man I'm super happy for this season to be ending so uh it wasn't the perfect season for me by any means this one death it shouldn't be there because I took the fight that I shouldn't have been taken it wasn't assigned to me I just had to quickly help out my alliance and do a less than ideal matchup then unfortunately I died to Ebony Maw in war number three and then I war died once against Palo in war number 10, which was also absolutely silly death and uh, definitely can be avoided. Overall, not the best, not the worst season. I have ex exactly average amount of fights. So I average five fights per war, which again is actually one of the least active seasons I have had in quite a while, only 60 fights altogether. But, you know, some seasons you take more, some seasons you take less. Hopefully next season I can get some more fights in for you guys. But uh, overall, again, it looks like it's going to be a new nation top 3 finish, which I'm super happy about. But that is going to be it. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and I will catch you guys later. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the next